I've got three hours and one pellet grill to cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner. Let's see if I can do it. Is that good? La, 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 la. So not only is this a fun challenge to try to get this done in three hours, we also have rain coming soon. So we're trying to beat the weather and we'll see if we can do it. So Kyle's gonna start a timer. Three hours and seven minutes. It, go. Why are you giving me an extra seven <laughs> minutes? You're, you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay, here we go. The way we're gonna start this, the turkey's gonna take the longest. So we're gonna start with the turkey, get that going. We'll probably do like mac and cheese after the, after the turkey because we can bake that and that'll hold really well. Uh, let's get started. So, did you bring gloves out here? I did bring gloves out here. Are these the ones you brought? No, the, yes, but there's also some black ones. Because those are ugly, dude. Those are ugly. <laughs> For the turkey, we're gonna spatchcock it. By spatchcocking it, uh, it's gonna cook a lot faster and a lot more even. Dude, I don't wanna make a mess like you did. Look at this guy. Oh, holy crap! Beautiful bird, come in here. Cut right through the ribs. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> All right, we got the spine out. We're actually gonna add that to here. We'll put that in there and that'll be part of our stock. That'll be our gravy. And then you're ready to flip this over. The way you do this is you kind of open it up and you're gonna kind of pop it like that. Okay, so we've got our bird spatch cocked. You can see how it's laying more flat and you don't have this cavity to deal with. So the heat will get all over it and it will cook faster. It'll cook more even. And I'm more confident that this is gonna get done in the three hour time frame, um, the three hour and seven minute time frame, uh, than if we were doing a whole bird. Here comes Lucas. We've got some butter here. This is softened so that we can smear it all over the bird. And then we're gonna add some of our vegetable seasoning. Okay, glove me. There we go. Okay, now that we got gloves on both hands, we're gonna smear this butter all over. Man, we really should have softened this butter more, huh? Get some, uh, get some seasoning all over on the inside of your bird, under the skin. I over-seasoned it, but that's because I know this butter is gonna melt and it's probably gonna take some seasoning with it. Dude, I might need you to glove me again. Gloves. We're gonna put this turkey on the pellet grill. It's, at, it's set at 350, then we'll make our, we'll get our stock ready, catch all the drippings, and that's gonna turn into our gravy. We're gonna add some wood chunks to the smoke box so that we can get some smoke infused on this within the first hour. And then as we add the rest of the stuff in here, we'll use this kind of as an oven and bake, bake the rest of the stuff, bake the mac and cheese, the, the pumpkin pie and all that. So to do that, we've got some, what are we working with? Apple chunks. We're gonna put some of that in here. Open up the butterfly valve and let that ignite. Now we're gonna put some, we're gonna make some stock right here. So what we're gonna do is we're taking just a couple vegetables and we're just gonna rough chop these, just big chunks like that. Some onion halves, they're just going in like this. Throw some garlic cloves in. We're gonna add some whole carrots, just kinda chopped for size. And some celery. And then we're gonna come back with some turkey stock. We're just gonna fill it in. If we don't hit three hours, it's because of this, dude. So this is a method that I learned from Logan, Bearded Chef Life on Instagram. When he would make this, he would do a natural rack. So he'd actually put the turkey right on here. But since we're doing spatchcock, I need that on the top rack. But we're gonna put this underneath and we're gonna catch all the drippings from the turkey. So that's gonna catch all the drippings and all that ugly butter that we had up on top, that's gonna melt, come down over the turkey and end up in our what will be our gravy at the end of the cook. So one more thing, we have these bratwurst here. So I'm actually gonna add this to the turkey stock as well. It's been going for about an hour. How much time do we have left? You have uh, two hours and nine minutes. Okay, Kyle had to film something in between my three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm even more up against the time. Now I've never made a pumpkin pie, so Kyle, you made one recently. I did make one recently. Kyle's gonna walk me through it. We're not gonna hit three hours, are we, Matt? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. So, just follow the can? I just follow the can. Kyle graciously got all the, the spices ready for me. You're welcome. If this tastes bad, it's Kyle's fault. It is my fault. 
Now we're just gonna add it to our pie crust. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's more stuff you need to do. Oh, you madman, did you throw it away? Here, we'll read it up here. What do I have to do? You have to add eggs, you have to add. Oh, to this? Yeah. All right, two eggs. And, and, and some. Dude, I'm running up against a deadline and I've never <laughs> made this before. Dude, I almost went oh. straight pie and, season, and spice. I know. <laughs> I'm adding just a little bit of milk. It did look a little chunky. <laughs> I had that question as I was about to pour it in. Get a good shot of this. Beautiful. Speaking of, you have two hours exactly now. Two hours left. Two hours left? Two hours left. We got the pie on, we got the turkey on. Now we're gonna do the cornbread. Because I'm up against time, I'm not making it from scratch. I'm using Jiffy, classic Jiffy. Just add some milk, just add some eggs. So, we're gonna get this heated up real quick. I just threw another pat of butter on here because there wasn't enough butter on top in the beginning. We have one hour and 51 minutes left. This is already temping at one, it's about 115, 120. So I'm gonna do the mac and cheese because that can bake while that's while this is cooking. We're gonna get we're gonna get the green bean casserole going because that can bake for a long time. We're doing this easy. Dude, we are kind of running out of room, man. Do I have room to fit? How are we on time, Kyle? We have one hour and 36 minutes. An hour and 36 minutes. Almost halfway done. You think we're gonna do it? I don't know. You're kind of running out of space in there. I know. We are. We've got... But all we need to go in here, well... Well, you, you can probably, like... Eventually, this is gonna come out. We're gonna pull that out, make the gravy. We're not cutting anything out of the video. We're doing it all. And we're gonna do it under three hours. Kyle doesn't believe me. It kills us. Matt doesn't believe me. I'm out here on my own, just cooking up the entire Thanksgiving dinner, sweating. So I've got this on low now. I really don't really, I don't wanna like brown the butter or overcook it. And I'm gonna add some of the Southern seasoning to the butter. Cause I want it to kind of infuse the, the butter as we make the sauce. We cooked way too many noodles. That's okay. For the top, I've got some rich crackers here. I'm just gonna crunch them up. That's gonna go on top. It's gonna get a nice texture. Kyle's over here. Kyle's over here making lunch. I, I'm hungry. You had enough for noodles. Dude, I'm making a whole Thanksgiving dinner and you're not even grateful about that. I'm so grateful, I just, I need it now. Got some pepper, I'm gonna add some salt. We're gonna do a little bit of this, the same seasoning we put on the turkey. All right, back in the smoker. Cornbread, cornbread is done, look at that. That gives us some room for the other side. The first thing that's done is our cornbread and I'm looking at the edge right here. I'm a little worried that it's burnt. Oh! Okay, it got a little burnt on that side. It's a little bit better on this side. Let me turn it for you. It's salvageable, except we lost the middle right here. <laughs> Screw it, scrape it out and put it on. Hurry, Kyle, eat that. What should we do next? Should we do? So what do you have next? I have mashed potatoes and gravy left. Okay. We have stuffing. Stuffing will take two seconds. Stuffing won't take very long. And we're gonna do cranberry sauce next. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> kind of get that going. We're gonna add some crushed pineapple. Not a lot. Orange zest. This is just an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Cranberry Sprite into the cranberry sauce. So for this to reduce down, I'm actually just gonna put it right in here. That's actually working. Look at that. Kyle's saving the day. Everything else is in here. The rest of the Thanksgiving dinner is on the pellet grill. We're cooking and it hasn't started raining yet but it might soon. We're getting close. All right, pumpkin pie is done. We're gonna pull that out. We're just getting these small enough that when we go to mash them, they'll be easy to work with. It's almost magical, the amount of leaves that are getting in our food. <laughs> Look at that. 
You can't ask for that. That's just like an autumn decoration, just mother nature's gift. Mother nature's really raining down on us now. We are just doing turkey stovetop stuffing, but we're gonna spice it up by adding some, some fresh onions, by adding some carrots, some celery. So far we've beat the rain. Because this is going into stuffing, I wanna dice these up pretty good. Keep it blow away, dude. What's a, what's a seasoning or a spice, but a tasty leaf, you know what I mean? <laughs> For some reason there's leaves in here. I can't imagine a reason why. All we need to do is a stuffing, gravy, and mash the potatoes. Onions and carrots going in. We had celery and I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Add our stuffing. I love stovetop stuffing. We're just gonna throw that, we're gonna throw that into here just to keep it warm while we wrap up the other stuff. So to make the gravy, we're gonna add some butter into the pot and let that melt down. And then we're gonna make a roux just like we did with the mac and cheese, which is we're gonna add some flour to it. All the turkey drippings and all of that, those vegetables cooked into it. We're just gonna pour it. Oh, you're gonna hold that for me? Just gonna pour it right into the pan. So good. Incredible. All right, the rain is coming. So we gotta wrap this up. We just need to mash these potatoes. Potatoes drained, we're adding half a cube of butter. I'm gonna get that underneath the potatoes so that can start to melt. Salt, pepper. Oh, <laughs> what did I just do? Ah, what did I do? We're so close. The rain's coming. We're almost done. A little heavy cream. Okay. 16 minutes in one second. Okay. I have 16 minutes left. You also gave me an extra seven minutes. I did. There's our beautiful cranberry sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Here's our pie with the whipped cream. We got our green bean casserole. Our mac and cheese. Oh, dude, this looks so good. We got our gravy right here. Dude, it's amazing that you can cook all of this on a pellet grill and the sidekick. Look at that. We got our cornbread, we got our mac and cheese, gravy, potatoes, cranberry sauce, stuffing, green bean casserole, the turkey, and even the pumpkin pie, all cooked on the Woodwind Pro, all under three hours. That is good. Mmm. It can be done. Matt didn't believe in me. Tell the people you didn't believe in me. He didn't believe in me, but we did it. We beat the rain. We're gonna eat, we're gonna clean up before the rain washes all this out. Um, we're gonna be coming out with more videos, more Thanksgiving videos. Um, so subscribe. If my in-laws are watching this, I'm not making Thanksgiving dinner this year. So that's on you. I don't know, dude. I don't know how, how to close this. <laughs>